Far Cry 5 Hours of Darkness. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words of the words of Ubisoft. In the first Far Cry 5 DLC, experience the first war-based Far Cry adventure. Trapped behind enemy lines, you must survive war-torn Vietnam to take down the Viet Cong. Will you be able to rescue your squad mates and evacuate to safety? Well, first of all, guys, the DLC is £25 if you buy the actual season pass, because there's going to be three of these. This is the first. Uh, so you can pay 25 for that, or you can buy them singly for an Aten. A senna, a tenner. Is it worth it? Mm, in a word, I would say no, it isn't. Uh, this one isn't worth £10 from what I saw. And that's a shame because I'm a huge Far Cry fan and I wanted it to be worth £10 because I love the idea of doing Far Cry in Vietnam. I've played loads of Vietnam games that I really enjoyed. Battlefield Vietnam, one of the best. Viet Cong was another great one. And it, so it's a shame that they haven't kind of took the best of them and put them into this. This just feels so half-assed, you know? I mean, you start off, you've crashed your plane, and uh, you get out, you, you're captured, you get free, and you're armed with a piece of bamboo, and you have to do a runner, then eventually you will run across some VC, you'll kill them, you'll get pistols, you'll get AKs, you'll get Molotovs, you'll get grenades, you get an M16, you get a bow and arrow, there's RPGs, there's flamethrowers, there's Molotov cocktails, satchel charges, proximity mines, there's a whole load of guns that you get. Um, you can't carry more than three initially because you have to play the game in normal mode, but once you've finished the game and got to the extraction point, that's the object of the game, to cross the map to the extraction point. Um, once you've done that, you unlock two other modes. You unlock survival mode, which uh, uh, is pretty much hard mode, where you get uh, less health, less inventory space, but you also unlock, I think it's action movie, movie action mode or something, um, or action hero mode, I can't remember what it's called, but basically bigger explosions, bigger inventory and you can carry an extra weapon as well uh, so that's kind of easy easy mode but fun mode if you like uh, but the object is the same you have to cross the map to the LZ to, to get extracted uh, getting there there's lots of side quests there's lots of bases to take down and uh, people to rescue and stuff like that if you want to do them which obviously you should because that's the entire content of the game there's the usual bullshit collectibles in the form of uh, smashing these, um, you know, radio transmissions. There's also a perk system that you have no control over. Well, you do. As you do stealth kills, your perk system auto upgrades you. Now you will move faster, you will see better, you will automatically tag enemies. The more stealth kills you do, the more you'll unlock in the this perk system. If you're then seen by the enemy, you lose them all. So it, it resets back to zero again, which is fun, which is fun. But half the time I didn't even pay much attention to it, to be honest with you. But it is a fun mechanic in the game. Um, the, the big problem with this game was when I started playing it, I was crouching around being extra stealthy. It's Vietnam. One does not run across a paddy field in Vietnam. You know, you've got to crouch and take your time going through. You've got to take your time going through the jungles because there's VC out there. There's v Charlie's out there, you know. The, the problem with this game is all I bumped into was two chickens, three cows, and a pig called Birdie. And that was it. I never really bumped into much. I think I bumped into two random VC patrols. And everybody else is kind of at settlements or bases or where there's a prisoner or where there's a hut. Uh, they're just kind of stuck there. There is a few random patrols, but you hardly ever run into anything. You don't really feel like you're in Vietnam at all. It just feels like a, a player-based map. It's like, hey, look, here's some tools for Far Cry. Look what I've done. I've put a base there, base there, base there, base there. Just It's the same base, just copied and pasted. I've put a, a burnt one there and a burnt one there. And a little house there, 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 there. Speaker there, 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 there. Patrol there, there, and there. Uh, hey, there. What do you think of me map, guys? Um, I think it's shit, mate. And that's, that's how I felt playing the game. Uh, I, I just didn't feel like I was playing anything great. Uh, didn't really have a story. There's letters that you can read that you, you find in the bases when you're searching around. But it just didn't feel like a good game. When I, when I finished it, like in, in about an hour and a half, I just flew through it. Uh, I then did it in um, action hero mode. Uh, where you can carry more and yeah that is way more fun and i do plan on doing it all in that mode just because you know i just want to 
see the big explosions and have a little bit of fun because the gunplay is pretty decent but the ai is the, the blind the blind is bats they can't see a fucking thing in fact you know something i was kind of doing the whole level with a bamboo stick i was just taking them all out with bamboo it was i was thinking i, I don't really need the guns john don't need the guns john you know it was that that kind of game it's just it's 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 just not a good vietnam game it's not the kind of game that you're gonna pump Creedence Clearwater Revival out while you're playing. Uh, you just no, it just doesn't work, uh, which is which is a shame because, like I say, I'm a Far Cry fan and um, I was really looking forward to these three DLCs uh, because I thought it was a really good value for money, you know, on paper. But if this is the standard of the DLCs for Far Cry Five, I'm not impressed. Uh, the the need to really get to, this could have been so much better. They could have put a really good story in here. I mean, look at all the great Vietnam movies. You know, Apocalypse Now, Platoon, Full Metal Jacket, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I mean, there's so many to choose from. And they could have taken bits of any of them and put them kind of missions in there. It would have made for a really fun game. But they just haven't. It's just more of the same kind of base liberation bullshit. There's a couple of panthers running around, a few people to save. And then you've got the finale at the end where you... I'll not tell you what happens if you're going to play it. But... Just when you get to the LZ, there's a little bit of a finale goes on. It's poor, guys. It's it's piss poor. There is co-op in this, and you do get some AI partners like you do in Far Cry 5 to help you out, and you give them, you know, orders like you do in Far Cry 5. But none of that is really going to save this game because the core gameplay of the game is just lacking severely. Uh, so it's just a big shame. Uh, I'm going to review uh, Prey DLC next. Let's hope it's a hell of a lot better than this one.